Yo, what is going on guys? My name is D-Free. Welcome back to another Dokkan video. Today it is finally time we're going to knock out the Battlefield Diva team. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, of course. This video has been like months in the making. We're going to go for the key on the map. And let me go ahead and say that I chose who I chose. A, a large part of the reason why I chose who I chose was because of the event. And I tried to have good versatility with the units that I brought as far as like what they can do as far as like how Zangia can heal. And Videl is an amazing debuffing unit. Obviously, a Raleigh's hit hard. Pan is a great support unit. So, and Bulma can heal too and stuff like that. So, I try to have good versatility. I really wanted to run Toa, for example, but obviously, this is an intelligence opponent. Shout out to this Gohan, by the way. And Fasha, a late addition to the team. I initially had Bullpan or Brapan in there, but I dropped her for Fasha because I remember that this guy has a physical stage. And, you know, there's not really a place for guys like Toa and, and Brapan because you don't really need a key support, you know. Uh, generally, they link well enough, and Aralia has that rainbow leader skill, 3 key, and 30% uh, all types. Previously, or formerly, Aralia being the best rainbow leader in the game prior to Mass San. And then, of course, obviously, Gogeta's in there somewhere low on the list. Now, you know, everybody loves their Gogeta's. But anyways, yeah, that's basically why um, guys like, or girls, like Toa and stuff, need awakenings and stuff to get a little better. Broadpan is kind of weird because she came at a time where 3 key was amazing. But now you want two or three key and like a statistical increase, which is why Turles, who came out shortly before she did, is is freaking amazing. He's basically optimal intelligence right now. And yeah, so if, if you're wondering why I left somebody off, that's why. But this is a waifu team nonetheless. Uh, and I don't have certain units. Like I wish I had that STR pan from the Valentine's banner. I didn't pull on it. Like I've pulled these units that are here in this video. I pulled them separately from that banner. I didn't try to pull anybody. Um, and I didn't have, I don't have the Android 18. I think she's a tech unit. So anyways, anyways, I am probably going to kill him this round. And shout out to Wokey from the, the Dokkan Reddit. This is his friend Arale here. I was looking for a friend Arale because they're very hard to find. Arale is really good. And actually she's coming back. Uh, Arale units are coming back. At least the events is. So I don't know if they'll be summonable again, but Arale has not been summonable since her initial release in the game. So I'm happy to get like a dupe or two because... Physical Arale is going to be really, 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 really good on a super physical team whenever that drops. So anyways, yeah, I don't know when it's coming, but be on the lookout for that. They just announced it in the V-Jump, I believe. But the, the thing is that they keep announcing all these rebirths, and we still haven't gotten half of the previous batch that they announced. And now they're announcing a whole other batch, and it's kind of weird what they're doing. I don't know what their plan is. Still waiting on Battlefield, still waiting on the tournament to awaken some of these guys, too. Pan is amazing. I think she's going to be optimal on Super Physical 2 because of her links with Arale and with Go Tanks. You know, the Andersons and then the female links with Arale. Arale hits 120% up on her passive, but she has a chance for the Super Attack to change. And it'll show you it like from a space type view. It's kind of weird. So Arale is going to be great there. And I'm going to give you these rainbows so I can get a little bit recovery. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm already at like full HP. Still gave you rainbows anyway, though, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, and Pan, I was going to say, she is basically like Tech Vegito. I think she gives 30% attack and defense, or 25. One of the two. We'll check her in a moment. Of course, you super attack the one that I don't want you to super attack, right? It's going to hit pretty hard, like 80k. There it is. I got to be careful because this team doesn't have very much HP. If you thought Gohan would be an easy opponent, unless I get crits at least, he's not a very easy opponent for a team like this because of the nature of the team. Uh, and, a, and also Pan has Fierce Battle. So this Pan is really, really good. And it's easy to get her super attack up too. So 25% up on the super attack to the allies. And uh, and I've given her some abilities too. Given her dodge, yes. 30% attack and defense and Fierce Battle and the Innocence, which is a link that, which is actually right here. Uh, I, I got it right. I predicted it. That physical Gotenks who's going to be another optimal unit on that team has. And that with Vegito Blue and then that Gohan that came out with the physical boo. Uh, their team's going to be really good. Doesn't matter that Videl's not getting a super because her passive still allows her to lower the enemy's uh, attack. So that's really good. That in conjunction with the fact that I have type advantage. And I don't think Pan's passive triggered this turn because it does have a restriction. It's the one bad thing about it. It has a restriction. But I don't think it triggered. But either way, I should be okay. And also Pan has Saiyan Lineage, which I recently found out. Phys and that's the one that where it changes. It shows you it from like a space type view. I recently found out that physical Gotenks also has Saiyan Lineage. I did not know that. It's like that link is on some units that you wouldn't expect it to be on. It's weird. 
Uh, I'm going to predict a super here somewhere. I just don't know where. Tell you what. Zanga heals, uh, but she already healed me at the start of the turn. Does she also debuff attack? I think she does. Yes, she does. Uh, did I get her to, oh my God, I only got her at SA6. I thought she was 10. Oh, that's global. My global one has SA10 because global is like really cool. It's got this uh, the ability to know what's coming out so like you don't start wasting all your stuff because a lot of times I just bother them. Uh, and you can have that. You set up all those reds for whoever comes in. But yeah, now I know not to bother certain things because global, and I can know I know what I want to start preparing for and you know organizing units on. I've been playing global a lot more than JP for like the last couple months or like last month or so, last three or four weeks, something like that. Yeah, of course I knew it was in here, but of course you do it on. You know, I had like a 33% chance or 50% chance or 33%, whatever the number is, that you would do it on a physical unit. Here we are again, but this time around, I've got the luxury of uh, putting two physical units in front of you and a lot of recovery. A lot of recovery. Hashtag a lot of recovery. Because Bulma, GG, bae. GG, bae. And I also have the, the, um, the Icarus active, so I'm still good. I don't need to do anything. Also, Videl's going to lower this guy's attack a lot. She's really good. She does no damage, though. Mm, okay, almost one life bar left. Pan's passive triggered. I'm going to let Pan stay in the front so she can buff up the friend of Raleigh. Woki Zarale can actually crit, too, so hopefully it gets a crit. He, he put orbs into this thing, and it's, like, amazing. Hopefully it gets a crit and it like one shots. The only problem with physical Raleigh is she has a freaking low key multiplier. If they knew that, like, the thing is that like she came out at a time where they were super conscious about the creep, and to a degree they still kind of are, which is why they give they don't give units like uh, Android 17, for example, big bad bosses because he'd just be damn too good. You know, it's weird what they do. Wish that was a super attack, but it wasn't. But if he crits here, she can knock him out. Ah, but it didn't change the super attack. Oh, a double. <laughs> Crit, please. No crit, but it's funny because the whole video, they have been changing the super attack. They show off from, like, the space view, but the last couple hits, they didn't. So, you know, the first one would have taken him out if it changed. It's kind of like Buhan, how he can go from the Vice Shot to the Kamehameha. The Kam Kamikaze Ghost, Kamehameha, la, 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 la. You know what I mean. Anyways, that was fun to do. I needed the medals, so, or the medal. I forgot this doesn't drop seven. I can't wait for them to update this event. And, oh, by the way, I asked you guys a couple videos ago, three or four videos ago, whatever, why you think that they updated the Kid Boo event, the Cell event, uh, and stuff like that. And But they made a whole brand new event for Goku. And I, I kind of thought so, but a lot of people kind of said, hey, it's not the same Goku. It's different arcs of Goku. But I don't know how important that is to them as far as the game goes. So I, I bring this up because eventually they'll bring out a Super Ultimate Gohan stage at this rate. So... I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. This video was a long time in the making. I may come back for another one. My screen's about to lock. It did lock. You guys get to see my beautiful wallpaper, the Goku. Go back. There we go. Anyways, long time in the making. And, uh, yeah, we'll come back eventually with another one. Maybe once more female units come out that are a little better. But have an awesome day, and thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.